dealing with. And that necessitates that there are punishments. And I think that this idea that we shouldn't punish anyone for anything is a wholly false idea which leads to a loss of life. Mm -hmm. It leads to a loss of safety. It leads to a loss of people's religion. And it causes great problems. There has to be, there have to be uh, dissentives. There have to be punishments. And I think also when we talk about worldly punishments, you have to also think that the punishment of Allah is I mean, the, the worldly punishments, no matter how, what level they reach, they will not reach the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yawm al-qiyamah. And that is something that all Muslims, we agree upon unanimously. And indeed, many, many other uh, religions, Christianity, Judaism, etc., also yeah. Uh, agree about the severity of the punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal and the fact that Allah Azza wa Jal inna batasha rabbika la shadeed the punishment of your Lord is severe and so whatever happened from, from the worldly punishments you have to put that in context of the fact that in the hereafter the situation will be far worse so in terms of bringing things that stop people from falling into the greater punishment by giving them Dissentives that disincentivize them from going into things that would lead them to that greater punishment is in itself a rahmah. And yeah. for example, the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, "Walakum fil qisasi hayatun ya uli al-albab la alakum tatqoon." You have in the in the law of qisas of retribution, you have life. That's really mm. you know it's it's a really profound statement that that there, we save people's lives through qisas. That's what the ayah says. People's lives are saved through qisas. Qisas being retribution, retribution. punishments. The, so. You know, the, the, a life for a life. Mm. 